if evolution plays a role in consciousness, does this mean that consciousness provides a survival benefit? And could the same behaviors be selected without consciousness? Uh, Don, you see consciousness as uh, being a mechanism which can determine fitness payoffs, right? Well, actually not. So, so I think that from the point of view that I've been talking about, space-time isn't fundamental. So, and I, I propose instead that consciousness is fundamental. And we can have a mathematical model of consciousness that um, is, is so-called stationary. But when we project that model, uh, we will get um, time emerging as a projection, uh, an artifact. And so we will get something that looks like evolution. So, so in other words, when we say that space-time is doomed, when the physicists say this, like Neymar Kanihamed, Ed Witten, Nathan Seiberg, and, 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 and several others um, are saying that space-time is doomed, it's not fundamental. To be clear, I'm not sure they say it the way you're saying it, but you know, go ahead. Uh, uh, well, if I mean, I, I can quote so, them. So. But the point is that e evolution is a consequence or a driver. I'm not. What, which, so, which so, is so, yeah, I would say that evolution is a consequence of a deeper reality that's outside of space and time. So what, what we have from an evolutionary point of view is not a window on the truth. When, when I see the sun and the moon and the earth, I'm not seeing a window on reality. I'm just seeing a virtual reality headset that, I've, uh, that evolution has given me to survive long enough to reproduce. And that headset, in, any headset will, will simplify certain things um, and, and basically eliminate other information. So for example, the distinction that we make between living and non-living we think of that as a principal distinction. It's merely an artifact of the limitations of our particular evolved headset. And uh, so, so that, that's not a fundamental distinction. Are you cascading into skepticism? A absolutely not. So, so I think that what I'm doing, is I'm just saying we have to take our current best scientific theories very seriously. It's a theorem of both, of both evolution by natural selection and quantum field theory with gravity that space-time does not make sense as fundamental reality. That's just a theorem of our best of our best current science. And so as a scientist, I have to take our current theories very seriously. They don't tell us what's outside of space-time. All they tell us is that, for example, the physicists know that beyond 10 to the minus 33 centimeters, space-time has no operational meaning. There, there is nothing that you can make operational about it and 10 to the minus 43 seconds. And what they're finding are these deep structures beyond space-time that have symmetries that like the amplitude hedron it has symmetries that are true of the data of scattering and okay. cannot be seen in space time uh, even if if i give you all of that which i don't but if i give you all of that what uh, what is the what is the relationship between consciousness and, and evolution I'm, I'm i'm still trying to determine okay. which which drives the other in in, in your worldview well, so in my worldview, consciousness would be fundamental, and there's a dynamics of consciousness that need not be a, uh, that has no entropic time. But when you take the, the, the model I'm working on with my team is that when we take this, this dynamics of consciousness that has no entropic time, the, the entropy is constant. But when you take any projection of it, then you get as an artifact of the projection, the illusion of, well, you get an increasing entropy in that projection of the dynamics. And so, what, what I'm looking for is that not only is space-time emergent as a projection of a deep model of consciousness, but that the notion of entropic time itself emerges, and therefore evolution by natural selection, all of it will come out as a projection of a deeper theory in which perhaps there is no competition and no limited resources. The limiting resource idea, limited time, is an artifact of a projection onto a particular point of view. It's not fundamental. You don't have evolution being deterministic, though, right? If evolution is derivative of this something else, it's not, it's not an illusion that we see it the way biologists have. You're not claiming that. No, it, it'll, it'll be a probabilistic theory. And it will probably, well, what we have to do is show that a deeper theory of, of the evolution of consciousness that is non-temporal in the sense that there's no entropic time leads to entropic time leads to all of the evolution by natural selection that we know and love inside of space and time as a special case, a projection of a much deeper theory in which space and time simply are not interesting predicates.
Okay, no, goes much deeper than that. No one will will accuse you of uh, of, uh, of 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 uh, blandly supporting the status quo of, of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. Huh? For more debates, talks, and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.